As we go throughout the rest of this evening, we have cloudy conditions, quiet weather, uh, not really seeing much for any kind of peaks of sunshine over the rest of the day. But we do have all that cloud cover rolling in ahead of a chance for rain. It starts after midnight and it may be a little soaking at times as we get into tomorrow morning. So those clouds are a little preview of what's to come as we head into the end of the week. We started the week with showers and storms. We're going to end the week with just rain showers. Thankfully, we avoid any kind of severe weather going into tomorrow. Exact track radar showing a cold front approaching. This is helping drive that wet weather in. You can see it's starting to get going across Iowa. A little drizzly weather uh, right along the Iowa, Illinois state line right now. Again, not likely to bother us, but it's a little preview of what's coming down the road for our area, and it could definitely help. Uh, we are still looking abnormally dry in some spots thanks to the latest drought monitor update. So we did have some improvements over the course of this last week. Uh, we had some rain at the beginning of the weeks so that helped clear out some of those very dry conditions, but anywhere highlighted in yellow here is near drought. So we're stepping uh, pretty close to those drought conditions, but Friday definitely should help uh, as we go throughout the rest of tonight. We do have cloudy conditions with the rain arriving late temperatures dropping all the way down into the low 40s, but that's pretty mild for this time of year. That's closer to our usual daytime high temperature. You can see the rain uh, starting to become steady right at about 3 a.m. tomorrow, and then it'll continue to stay steady through sunrise. Uh, no one trend we're picking up on. We could see some pockets of storms or even some very heavy rainfall at times heading into Chicago, so that'll be kind of on the outside looking in for us. Uh, we are just on the edge of that. Mostly light to steady rainfall for our area, though there are those little pockets of heavier rain that pop up from time to time. So after a steady rain through the whole morning, afternoon gets a little more spotty. You can see some drying that occurs pretty quickly into tomorrow evening. So we'll start out soggy in the morning, and then that slowly tapers off over the rest of the day. By tomorrow evening, should have some pretty dry conditions. Rainfall total-wise, about half an inch for most spots. So as you can see, especially as you work your way southward, we're getting closer to uh, three quarters of an inch, an inch of rainfall. And again, all of that is beneficial. We had a very, very dry February, so it's nice to see those spring showers hours may start to try to make up for that deficit that we find ourselves in. As we look at our highs tomorrow, temperatures barely move. Middle 40s for highs, that's average weather for March, but it's going to feel cold compared to all of the warmth that we've had so far through the winter and into these early spring months. We stay in the 40s the next couple days, but we get a lot of sunshine at times Saturday afternoon into Sunday. Next week, the 60s are back with dry weather, but we could see some rain possible at the end of next week. In your most accurate 10-day forecast, that may be ahead of another little cool down on the way, the 50s possible by next weekend.